Ladies, ladies, do you hear me? I need y'all to hear me. I would never, ever, I wouldn't, I would never do that to you. I'm not here. I'm not trying to shit on Keith Murray. Keith Murray is indeed a wild boy. I've known that my whole career. But what I'm saying is, ladies, any one of you out there who may have a secret <clears throat> crush on your boy, anybody that I may have, any in the secret industry crushes I may have had all these years, just know that I would never, ever, ever, ever put you on blast like that. Ever. Hint, hint. I'm just saying, I would never. That's all I'm saying. It's not to pick fun at Keith or Irv or nobody else who told their version, told their story. Everybody has a story and I guess everybody's entitled to tell it. But I know, um, I mean, it's funny, that, it's funny that, it's interesting that Keith Murray mentioned, uh, you know, his, 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 an encounter with, with Corinne Steffens. The irony of that is Corinne Steffens, AKA Superhead, you know, she came out with a book. I don't know. It's probably twenty years ago, twenty years old now. It's like she wrote a book, a tell-all book about all of her, you know, salacious, her escapades with men in the industry, and everybody hated it. Like, <laughs> not hated it. I'm sure because the book sold like crazy. But I mean, like. Everybody was furious. Furious, be like niggas would like if niggas could have found. I wouldn't be surprised if if Corinne Stephens's life was in danger. I know she probably got death threats, all kind of shit. Niggas could not believe that it was the it was the worst thing any anybody could have could have ever done. And here we are, twenty years later, and. You know, that's, that's the norm now. That's the norm. That is the norm. I mean, you know, to veer off topic just a tad bit, like, you know, just two, three years ago, we was all calling, everybody was calling Vlad a fad because of the content that now it looked like the artists themselves are, you know, they have been incentivized to treat the Vladdy shit, the, the Corinne Stephensy shit, the whatever, as the norm. It's like, that's what I got to do to get on? Fuck it. Oh, I got stories. You know what I mean? I don't know. Like I said, respectfully to everybody. I ain't trying to, I'm not trying to, you know what I'm saying? create no smoke between me and nobody i'm just trying to respectfully speak about the state of stuff and while i'm at it let all of the beautiful ladies know famous non-famous whatever if you f if you're feeling your boy i would never ever i would never do something like that Look at some eyes. Look at the camera. Here. Look at the camera. I would never, ever. Not your boy. I don't be online throwing subliminals like me and a chick break up. You know what I'm saying? We stop dealing with each other. I'm not putting a whole bunch of subliminals out there. I'm not, I'm not doing all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of them niggas. Like, if I didn't have a daughter. There would be no proof in the world that I ever, that I've ever had sex with anybody. 
Because I ain't telling. Scorpio gang. Y'all already know what that means. Stingers. We ain't just... We ain't just sex. We secrets too. Mm -hmm. Discretion. God damn. Um, yeah, that's it. Like chicks I be seeing. That's not it. One more thing. I be chicks that I see online. I be cute. I be hitting the like. I be hitting the like. I be double tapping and shit like that. It's be cute. I be. I be some sex. Some beautiful, gorgeous, sexy, whatever you want to call it. Baddies. Queens. Yeah, I say that because the thing that, the, w w w like, I'll be, i like your pictures and all that because, you know, I give props what props to, you know what I'm saying? And I can be completely available. But the reason I don't crush some of y'all, like, I don't shoot my shot is because I see, like, I watch your page. I, I might like the pictures, but I see the memes and all the, all the other shit. And, you know, y'all be doing real messy stuff sometimes. Like, you know, a lot of recklessness, you know what I'm saying? The, the subliminals after this, after after this relationship or, or you know, all of, your business be all on the street right there. And your boy Don Rocco, the, the, the same person who just said I would never, ever do what my homeboys, you know, the good brothers, uh, Keith Murray and or Earth, I would never do that. The same person who feels that way? I got to take the same precautions on, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I see you in your comments or all your, your in your stories or all on your timeline with all kind of recklessness, I, I, I can't, I can't do that. I don't like it. I don't like it. I can't do that. But, um, again, ladies, I would never. Not your boy. So if you, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.